Greetings guys, La Architects here and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to make a cartoon-like presentation using Revit. The first thing you wanna do first is have a 3D view. If you don't know how to do that, please check out my tutorial on the quick rendering tips on Revit. I show you there how to make your 3D view. So I already have my view ready. The first thing you wanna do here is go all the way down to visual style move from hidden line to realistic or consistent colors however if you go to consistent colors the trees are kind of weird and I don't like the way they look in here however some people do that all depends on your taste so I'm gonna go back to consistent colors to realistic view I meant so the first thing you wanna do again is go back to visual style graphic display options enable smooth lines anti-aliasing you can see zig this zigzag kind of way on uh, on the lines right here right so this option is gonna cancel them out as you can see they all look straight so the first thing you want to do now is um go to shadows activate the uh, ambient shadows and that gives some depth to the structure if you want you could also activate cast shadows once again it will all depend on your taste i don't like the cast shadows in this type of presentation so i'm gonna take it out and then um go to sketchy lines and make the line kind of look cartoonish at the end of the tutorial you'll have the option to either go with the cartoonish look or to go with the more straight line cartoonish type of way so let me enable the sketch lines as you can see it looks like it was done using a hand sketch or something like that and um, the first uh, if you can change the sketchiness of the line or the extension so let's increase the jitter to about five and you will see what I mean see the line seems to have changed in and the lines are now more dominant than they were before so I'm just gonna go back to what it was I'm gonna bring it back to three because I like that better all right so that's done now let's go to the background and change the sky color here you have options you can either use a normal Revit sky if you want but I don't like that in this type of presentations if you like it go ahead you could use the gradient ones which we're gonna do and I'm gonna show you how to enter the gradient colors and you could also load in an image let's say you go to customize image you can load in whatever image you want let's say I load in this this is just for the people all the, the tutorial purpose all right let's say I loaded in this pink type of sky see what I meant you could do that and make it even more unrealistic however I don't like this color in the background it doesn't match the color of my house so I'm gonna go with gradient and make up my own sky so what you want to do here is uh, go and change the colors on the sky color you are gonna change the sky color the horizon color and the ground color so let's do that let's change the sky colors I'm going to enter my own values here. I want the turquoise like sky. So I'm going to go with 191. Okay. 251 for the green. And I'm going to go with 255 again for the blue. If you don't know what you want, you can just experiment with it. That's uh, all right. 191 again. 251 that's done for the sky let me change the horizon color to let's say I give this about 244 I want it to be lighter than the other one and then 242 again and then 242 hmm this kind of looks okay or let me select 255 here or let me even go to any or 
okay this is much more better you see all right so i'm gonna keep the bottom part as white let me click on apply now it looks kind of good right here but i don't like the way the bottom looks so i'm gonna change the middle one to 244 by 244 by 244 so two 242 i meant 242 and and um okay apply okay this is much more better and much more settled all right so yeah if you want you could export your image like this if you want you could also go back again to graphic display let's say the lighting you can change the amount of sun in it you could increase it and the image will be even brighter or you could increase the amount of ambient light it would be brighter again let me decrease it back to about 30 all right this is much more better for me the sun i'm gonna increase that too like you could also increase the shadow level or decrease it to your taste i like it better like this let me go back to shadow and put in cast shadows and see what it looks like in here hmm that's interesting however i don't like the cast shadows in here so i'm gonna click on apply all right so in order to export it just go to export click all the way down to images and uh, animations image okay be careful here it, sh it shows you two options fit to 512 pixels i wouldn't recommend that just go to zoom and click on the hundred percent one you can change it to 50 whatever you want i'm gonna keep keep it at hundred percent and here you have options for medium png targa and tiff with the tiff you won't be used losing any uh, resolutions however the file will be much more heavier so i would like to go with jpeg lose less and for the raster quality i will always recommend you to do 300 300 dpi that's much more better and then here change you can change the place where you wanna save it in i'm gonna keep it here and name it cartoon cartoon h okay save okay that's done let me show you how it looks like um let me go to the text cartoon h so there you have it and i've also done it in a section they look very good in sections if you like it well i kind of like it it's kind of cool to show this type of presentations in your portfolio or to your uh, clients in order to show them the different kind of things you can do um let me go back to revit if you want you could go to the hidden line view to the shaded um, the consistent view i meant see it kind of looks different here too let me go back to realistic and choose the background as the pink image and see what it looks like you now the background image all right apply some people might like it this way however in this way i would change the house colors and the roof colors and make them more vibrant and more extravagant so that it matches with the sky colors so this is it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial.